Welcome to Alien School by Carol Hart and Ed Eaves. Uh-oh, time for school. Mum hands me my bag and we climb into the car. I just have time to buckle in when, whoa! The car whooshes up into the air, through the clouds and out into space. Whoa, this is awesome, I gasp. We cruise past planets and comets and stars, then swoop towards a strange spotty planet. Mum puts the brakes on and we glide to the ground. There are spaceships everywhere. Mum opens the door and tells me to hop out. Have a good day, she says. Wait, I cry. This isn't my school. But it's too late. Suddenly, an enormous shaggy alien appears. What's your name, it growls. I'm Albie, I tremble. Please don't eat me. Oh, I never eat my friends, grins the alien. I'm Noggle. Come on, or we'll be late. Our teacher is called Mr. Crark. He looks very strange indeed. Welcome to alien school, he gurgles. Everyone is staring at me. I try to blend in, but Mr. Crark asks the class to guess what kind of creature I am. It's so embarrassing. Is it an ogleblomp? asks a pink alien. No, it's a dirkel, says a long-nosed yellow creature. Actually, says Mr. Crark, Albie is a human from planet Earth. But don't worry, I'm sure he's very friendly and almost certainly won't bite. First, we have to do spellings. Spell bazoozle squark, says Mr. Crark. Spell flobbity obbity pom pom. Spell tog tog de noggle plump. This is hopeless, I can't spell anything. Don't worry, says Noggle. It's always hard at first. Next, we have to do sums. Now I love maths, but space sums are impossible. I can't even recognize the numbers. Just then, a loud alarm starts to ring. Phew, lunchtime, shouts Noggle, and we all rush for the door. The canteen is packed with the strangest creatures I have ever seen. Nogal pushes a button on a green nozzle and spurk! Something lands on my plate. Ew! Mmm, space getty, my favourite, grins Nogal. Are you sure it's okay, I whisper? It seems to be glowing. After lunch, it's messy time. I paint a fierce T-Rex, but space paints must be magic because the T-Rex comes to life. Uh-oh. Quick as a flash, Noggle shoves a painted lollipop between its teeth. That should keep it quiet. We tidy up our things, then rush outside to play. Let's ride the scooter, shouts Noggle. Riding a scooter at home is easy, but these ones look a bit more tricky. Nigel zooms off, just pu push the red button and hold on tight, he says. But there are loads of buttons and they are all red. I don't know which one to press, so I try them all. And... Whoa! The scooter flips and twists and I tumble through the sky. Help! I'm heading for outer space! Suddenly, something grabs me around the waist. It's Mr. Crark's long arms. I'm saved. It looks like you could do with some scooter lessons, he laughs. Nogal rushes up and gives me a big hug. Sorry, Albie, he mumbles. I thought you had ridden one before. That's okay, I say. It was amazing. All too soon, it's lunchtime. I rush up to Mum. Can Nogal come for tea, I ask. Mum smiles at my new friend. That would be lovely, she says. But Albie has swimming tonight. See you tomorrow then, I sigh. Have fun at the pool, calls Noggle. Uh-oh. The end.